continuity of a species requires a mix of genetic stability and genetic variation, and the species achieves these through the processes of mitosis and meiosis respectively. Mitosis is the process of cell division for the growth and repair of an organism through the production of stomatic cells. Genetic stability is promoted in mitosis through the production of two identical diploid daughter cells. The process begins with the three steps of interphase. Growth phase 1 increases cell mass while cytoplasmic organelles duplicate and the cell prepares for division. Synthesis phase involves DNA synthesis and chromosomes becoming replicated. The second growth phase involves protein synthesis, error correction of the duplicated chromosome and another size increase. Prophase involves DNA condensing from chromatin into chromosomes with two sister chromatids, spindle fiber forming from the centrosomes and the nuclear membrane breaking down. During metaphase, the chromosomes line up across the metaphase plate and attach to spindle fibers by their centromere. In anaphase, the proteins in the centromere cleave and the sister chromatids separate through microtubules such as kinetochore fibers, pulling the now daughter chromosomes to opposite poles. When at opposite poles, telophase occurs and the spindle fibers break down while the nuclear membrane reforms around the newly formed daughter nuclei and nucleolus. Cytokinesis then forms a cleavage furrow that divides the cytoplasm, separating daughter nuclei into their own individual cell. Cytokinesis differs within plant cells through cellulose being responsible for the formation of a cell wall and this separates the two daughter nuclei. Meiosis is the process of cell division which creates four genetically unique gametes known as haploid daughter cells. The process begins with interphase and prophase 1, similar to the steps of mitosis, although slightly differs with prophase 1. In prophase 1, synapsis matches up homologous chromosomes to form tetrads, allowing crossing over to occur at the end of the chromosomes in the telomeres, resulting in recombination. In metaphase 1, the tetrads line up across the metaphase plate where the random assortment of chromosomes known as independent assortment occurs. In anaphase 1, homologous chromosomes separate with the sister chromatids remaining attached at the centromere and are pulled by the spindle fibers to opposite cell poles. Membrane forms around the two nuclei in telophase 1, followed by the cleavage furrow creating two haploid daughter cells in cytokinesis. The second cell division begins with prophase 2 and metaphase 2, repeating their processes, now with two haploid daughter cells. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids begin to separate as individual chromosomes to opposite poles and in telophase 2 and cytokinesis, a membrane forms and the cleavage furrow finally creates four genetically unique haploid daughter cells. Meiosis is the necessary process to produce germline cells. The process of meiosis, which occurs to produce female oocytes, is known as oogenesis and the process of producing sperm cells is known as spermatogenesis. Oogenesis produces one oocyte to be fertilized and three polar bodies from the maternal chromosomes within oogonium and spermatogenesis produces produces four sperm cells from the parental chromosomes within spermatogonium. When a sperm cell and an oocyte fuse, a zygote is formed through the process of fertilization, followed by embryogenesis where the embryo is formed and developed. Therefore, meiosis is necessary in supporting the population of a species and in maintaining genetic continuity. Continuity of an organism refers to its ability to survive as a population, and this is supported through the processes of genetic stability and genetic variation. Genetic stability relies on the preservation of genetic material, supporting the handing down process for the continuity of a species. Stability is achieved through the division of cells in mitosis, producing two daughter cells with identical genes as the parent, and the stability in the number of genes and relatively minimal variation within these genes after meiosis. Genetic variation is also essential to genetic continuity, as variation creates adaptations that are selected selected for, increasing a species survival when faced with selection pressures. Genetic variation occurs through three major processes in meiosis. Crossing over through recombination occurs when homologous chromosomes exchange genetic material between non-sister chromatids at the chiasma during late prophase. This causes genetic properties to be swapped between chromatids, then split up into different daughter cells. Independent assortment is the random alignment of homologous chromosomes during metaphase 1 and results in variation between the daughter cell chromosomes when pulled apart in telophase 1. Genetic mutations also randomly occur within DNA synthesis during interphase as a change in the nucleotide sequence through an insertion, substitution or deletion can result in the formation of a new codon and ultimately a new allele. Sickle cell trait is the heterozygous state of sickle cell disease and aids the survival of individuals within Africa through a resistance to malaria. Sickle cell disease occurs through incorrect protein synthesis and creates long, crescent-shaped hemoglobin. This alteration results in red blood cells sticking together, blocking blood flow to vital organs and tissues. While sickle cells negatively impact the individual, the spleen is effective in filtering and removing parasited sickle cells, such as cells containing malaria. Although over 300,000 lives are lost yearly to sickle cell disease, a heterozygous state of the condition allows typical and sickle red blood cells to coexist, hence creating a resistance to malaria while the individual's blood flow is not as negatively compromised. 85% of sickle cell trait cases are located within Africa, being prevalent within 15% of Africans in Central Africa and within 28% of the Gabon population.